Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to do this colorful reverse stamp nail design. So I'm going to use this iridescent polish by Sinful Colors called You Just Wait. This neon yellow by Orly called Key Line Twist. This blue by Pure Ice called Pocket Dial. This pretty orange by China Glaze called Flip Flop Fantasies. And this pink by LA Colors called Absolute. Now I'm using my Born Pretty BPL 027 nail plate. It's a pretty nail plate. It has a lot of florals. And I'm applying black polish onto this floral design. Now the key to doing a reverse stamp design is to make sure that the design has enough space for you to paint. I like to do ones that have big spaces. As you can see, this design has big spaces. So I'm applying the polish inside of it. It's really, that's the way I like to do it. I don't like the little skinny lines. It takes too much time. I try to do quick designs. I don't, I don't want to spend all day doing my nails. Now, as you can see, I'm just painting in the florals and I'm using my nail brush. This is really easy. It's a really easy reverse stamp design. You don't have to use a nail brush or a dot. I'm using the brush from the nail polish and you just fill it in. Don't add too much polish though, because adding too much polish will make the, um, the design when you apply it onto your nails smudge so try to do as little um polish on the design try to apply don't go crazy putting thick amount of polish now once i painted all the um flowers the way i wanted i gave it a couple of seconds to dry and then i applied it onto my nails as you can see i pushed it really hard onto my nails so it could stick on. If not, you'll pull it off and you'll mess up the whole design. So the key is to just make sure it sticks on real tight. Then I'm gonna use my cuticle pusher and I'm gonna cut around the design. And the reason why I'm doing this is once I remove the liquid latex, I want it to come off in one, um, one swoop and I don't want it to pull or rip my design. If you don't do that, it's gonna mess up your whole design. So try to cut around it. Use anything that you got that you know can go around the corners of your fingernail. And once I was done, I applied a quick dry top coat. I hope I made this video really easy and simple for you guys to recreate. Here's the finished look. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get updates. I'm gonna upload new videos and check out my Instagram at Phone My Nails to see more of my nail art. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.